Okay, so you want to create a cover for your new Kindle ebook that you've been working on. All right, first off, you want to do it on the cheap. You want to do it yourself. You don't want to spend a lot of money. I have been able to find images all over the web that are um, public domain images. So I've selected image. In this case, I found an old pair of handcuffs. Found this image of an old pair of handcuffs. Thought it was kind of cool. It says it's a um, open domain image on the site that I went to. So. What I'm going to do is go to start. This is Windows Vista that I'm doing this in. If you have Windows XP or Windows 7, I have other videos that you can look at for those versions of Windows. I'm going to go from all programs to accessories, from accessories down to paint. <clears throat> now that I've opened paint, I'm going to resize the image. Um, according to the stats right now, which is this is December 2011, um, the attributes of the image need to be 400 by 600 pixels, 400 wide, 600 tall. So I'm going to go to image, and I'm going to go to attributes, and it is set on pixels. I'm going to choose 400. I'm going to come over and choose 600 and click OK. Um, and so we now have, I'm going to check it again, 400 by 600 pixels. I'm going to choose the black font, uh, or the black black font, I'm going to choose the black color here, and the paint can which does the fill with color. Now I have a black background. I'm going to click File Save. The reason I choose black personally, and I'm going to choose the desktop here, uh, is I like um, the black color in the background because I find it it makes my uh, image on the cover and my white font stand out nicely so I've named it my Kindle cover and I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a JPEG just personal preference and so from here <clears throat> I want to add that picture of the handcuff so I'm gonna minimize everything down to the desktop I'm gonna find that picture of the handcuff I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go to send I'm sorry not send to but open with and paint and there's a specific reason that I've chosen the handcuff. I'm going to go to Edit, Select All, and then I can say Edit, Copy. I can also go Control A, which does a Select All, and Control C, which does a, a Copy. And then I'm going to come back over to my original paint window. I can say Edit, Paste, and then I can move it down. I like to center my graphic, so I've got it centered. Uh, and I'm going to click off of it. I like where it's at so I'm going to click file save and you notice that I'm saving it at every step of the way as I decide that I like it from here I'm going to click on font and then I'm going to click uh, down here where it does transparent so that I, I can put the font color that I want it's selected on black I'm going to choose white and then I'm going to click in here it's going to give me the ability to choose my font it's very similar to Windows XP the Windows Windows XP does this uh, vastly different from the way Windows 7 does it so if you're doing something in Windows 7 you're going to want to look up my Windows 7 video and then <clears throat> I'm going to choose the font size I'm going to choose something in around the range of about oh, I don't know 18 and then I've, I've started a document here in WordPad that has what I want it to say never give up and other stories of and so I'm going to come back over here to my window, click in it and paste, never give up and other stories of finding financial freedom. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to make it a little larger because I've got room. Uh, matter of fact, I may just go one size just a hair larger. Uh, bring that down just a hair. There we go. Never give up and other stories of finding financial freedom. I'm going to click off of it and it's not quite centered so I'm going to come up here, <coughs> click the I'm going to click the select option and then I'm going to drag around it. You click with the left mouse button, move over the top of it to the right, and then you can actually change the position of it. And then I'm going to click the paint can and I'm going to click with the paint can. It's selected on white. I'm going to change it back to black and then I'm going to click in the uh, hole there and turn the white back into black. Now that I like that, I'm going to immediately click save because I don't want to mess anything up and I'm going to go back to my WordPad document. Book 2 of, find, of the Finding Financial Freedom series. This is a whole bunch of, uh, of short stories. And I'm going to come down below. I'm going to choose my font again. I'm going to make sure to click white. I'm going to make sure it's selected on transparent and then I'm going to come down below it. I'm going to grab the edge of it and make it the size that I want and then I'm going to hit control V to paste it and 
the font size is on 22. I like the size of it. Now again, I may play with this later and change it around a little bit. Uh, so the cover you see actually on Amazon.com may look a little bit different. I'm going to hit Control S to save it again, or Control or uh, rather File and Save. Now that I've got the file and I've decided I like it, I'm going to come back out to the desktop and I'm going to look at it. And it says Never Give Up and Other Stories of Finding Financial Freedom, uh, Book Two of the Finding Financial Freedom series. And so I can see what this thing looks like. Now, if you want to see what this thing looks like out there on the website, come down below on Amazon.com specifically, come down below the video you're watching, click Show More, and click the link. I'll have a link there to that book and maybe a couple of the others so you get kind of an idea of what these things look like when they go up. So I hope this has helped you. Um, it took me some time to learn this stuff, so hopefully my, my knowledge is able to get you up and going quickly, and you certainly don't have to spend a lot of money getting your book going. So... Like I said, hopefully it helps. Have yourself a great day now.